going on, you guys? It is your boy, Omzi Schmitty, right here. We are back with episode 24 of season 2, the second to last episode of the season. Something that I have been looking forward to. Not even only the title, but the actual episode, Katsuki Bakugo Origin. Katsuki Bakugo, Izuku Midoriya versus All Might. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm very excited. Still predict that, like, right now my prediction is... They are going to escape. That's still, that's the only way I see them winning this. I still don't entirely remember what happens. Like I said, I think they get their fucking ass handed to them. I could see it. Because it, it's All Might. Because yeah. I, I see him holding nothing back, probably. Especially when you have, like, when he's going up against Bakugo, and Bakugo is going to, like, literally let everything, or let everything go I against think, him. I think they fail, because I think Deku's going to let emotion get the best of him. Bakugo's, I think that's Bakugo. I think they're kind of switching. Well, no, I think Deku's going to get emotion, let them get the best, or get the best of him, like his compassion for Bakugo and stuff like that. Um, and then I think Bakugo's just going to let his, his ignorance and his I'm better than you attitude get in the way and he's going to get absolutely fucking, he's going to get the floor swept with him by All Might. I think All Might's going to put him in his place and I think Deku's going to come back to help um, Bakugo, and that's going to be GG's. It's like, I believe the, where, like, the Bakugo shit, like, obviously, I think he's going to get his ass kicked by All Might, because, obviously, he's going to try to do everything he can to take down All Might by himself. Um, I do believe that, I don't think it will be Deku, like, having his emotions with, um, ba not only Bakugo, but also his emotions with All Might, like, oh my god, mm -hmm. like, because obviously he's probably it hasn't sunk in yet. Like he's about to face the number one hero in the fucking world. Oh, I think it's sunk in. <laughs> I, if there's uh, any, if there's anyone Midori has studied the most his entire life, it's been All Might. Yeah, I but he's he not does. ready to take him on. Oh no, I know he's not. I didn't say he was. I'm just saying. I think the one person he knows who he's fucked up against is All Might. Because that's the one person he knows more yeah. than anybody. Like, I don't know. It's like, obviously, Bakugo's gonna come in with that confidence, but Deku's gonna come in with that, like, oh, shit. Like, I still think we're that, not, like, there, there's no way in hell. Like, I still think Deku gets caught up in his emotion and goes to save Bakugo and then gets fucking whooped. Alright. Well. I, st I think he's gonna have the chance to escape, and then he's gonna run back to save Bakugo and then get fucking smacked by All Might. Yeah. I don't think he would leave Bakugo behind. If he honestly that's, does, that's that would be kind of shitty. That's what I think is gonna be his downfall. Is him not being able to leave him behind. Because that will honestly kind of make me lose maybe respect for the character just by a little bit. But I, I don't know. We'll have to see in the episode. But if you guys like a reaction and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified when we release our latest videos, definitely go plus ultra on that notification bell. And with that being said, let's get right into the episode. So yeah, I, I didn't remember the outcome of the fight mm -hmm. i rem like i said i remember they did fight i remembered some parts of it yeah like when the fence came down i was like oh that's right mm -hmm. i actually thought he did in pillow for a split second i'm like yeah no, fuck <laughs> i i remembered the fence and i remembered him getting getting his ass whooped against the bus yeah that that, that shit like it hurt like holy oh, yeah. shit that's that's and his and that his Gauntlets were just so that way he could use his full butt. So he, I remembered that and his hurt, his arm hurting. Mm. I didn't remember the outcome though. I didn't remember whether they won or lost or you know whatever. I just based on that information that I remembered, that's how I got my assumption of how they just get their asses whooped. Mm. But uh, uh, overall, I mean, I'm happy I got to see it again. I it's a good fight scene. I love it. Yeah, good match between them three. Um, didn't think how they were honestly going to pull it out. I honestly was kind of getting pissed about Bakugo, but then again, it is only the second season, and obviously I'm still learning. Um, so yeah, it's like, obviously, what people have been saying, it's like, can't be a good hero if you can't communicate with others. You have to be able to mm -hmm. communicate. Like, communication is, like, one of the number one things. And it will be difficult with, like, it's, it's always, like, difficult with Bakugo. Like, not even just with like Deku but like with anyone he just doesn't like to communicate because he always wants to do like everything alone mm. but there will come there but this job like like being a hero 
you have to team up with people like on the spot like that. Like, oh, there's a villain fucking Robin, like a store or whatever. And like whatever heroes are trying to stop it. It's like, oh, you see it. It's like you join in as well. You're going to have to try to communicate with them. Bakugo like needs to learn that. If he's not, then he's not going to. He's going to turn out like Endeavor. He's going to do everything himself. Exactly. I don't think Bakugo needs to learn that. I mean. What? Communication? Yeah. Because like. I, obviously, it's something that he should learn. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it's something that he needs to learn. Like, it, here's here's why. Okay, if you are good enough as a hero to not require anyone else's aid, why the fuck would you ask for it? Like, if you don't need anyone else to help you, why would you do that? Because that would just hinder yourself. Would Bakugo be the person to help anyone else? Probably not. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he'd come in to snipe it. I don't know. That, yeah, that's also true, yeah. He could just come in, fucking... He could come in like Endeavor, like in the last episode, and just wipe out that fucking Nomu. Just right, that's what like I'm that. saying. Is like, Bakugo it's like, oh, my work here is done. I can just go home. Bakugo has the potential to solo an entire mission. Mm-hmm. Like, he doesn't need a team. Like, he yeah. obviously should have a team. Obviously. You know, and it's something that he should develop. But I think him alone is strong enough to handle most situations yeah most situations obviously i mean i see him as like i see him as like a potential all might character really if i mean if he works hard enough and yeah i can see him being a solo hero i don't see him is an endeavor solo hero as well no he has an agency oh all might didn't have an agency i don't think i don't think all might had an agency because I would definitely kind of relate, like, so far what I'm thinking, because obviously I'll maybe have to think about it more, but definitely I do relate him more to Endeavor so All far. All Might never had a sidekick. Or wait, no. did he? Ooh, I don't remember that one. I assume maybe it was in Heroes Rising, uh, or Two Heroes, I believe. Um, but then again, I haven't seen it. I don't remember if he did or not. I don't uh, even remember if he has an agency. Who, All Might? Yeah. No, I don't think so. It wouldn't, no, because... His no, because that wouldn't make any sense. Because well, then again, still, all, like, still, all my and, and what we've seen of him, he's always handled it by himself. Yeah, I see him being like Baku. I see Baku being like that, handling all the situations by himself. I could assume he doesn't have an agency because like his agency would probably like Midoriya would have went remember. to his agency if he did have an agency in the internship. That's why he went to Grand Torino. Right. Yeah. We well, went to Gran Torino because that was his his teacher. Yeah, and obviously he had to learn the things about one for all and like that he did not learn about. Like he needed that for like his quirk. Like he needed that drastically, and look how it's obviously turning out. Right. Um. But definitely, yeah. Um. There's like trust me, I can see Bakugo being like incredible. Like obviously top three. Um. Char- not only characters but heroes in my eye too. Um definitely top three top five um definitely i think the only thing is like obviously his strategy his strategies or his decisions are a little bit questionable obviously Mm -hmm. um definitely his approach to some things are definitely questionable which obviously can let's say if like if there comes a time that you would have to work together like i don't know that would kind of throw things off or it would kind of mess like it would kind of intertwine with, I don't know. It would just kind of be kind of difficult to work with anybody else. If it came down to the wire, and like literally, if your backs were, if your back was against the wall and you had to work with this person, no matter fucking what, no matter how much you well, care about him or hate about him, it's like yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think like this is like I, you were probably saying like not something that he needed, but something he should definitely learn. Mm-hmm. Like that is a key point into being a hero. This shit is like definitely like recommended. Right. But, yeah, obviously, I'll see how more I eventually will probably learn Bakugo will grow as more as a, uh, more as a character. Um, definitely liked this episode. Liked, a, like, I liked a little, they gave me a hint of what, because, like I said, this is the first time they've ever teamed up, and I have no idea, like, if they team up in the future, or if, like, it comes down to, like, oh, they have to work together or whatever. This is, like, the first ever time I've seen them work together. So that's kind of cool. Never thought I would see that, especially like kind of this early. Um, but yeah, overall pretty uh, pretty good. Really good episode. Um, yep, All Might was definitely not fucking uh, holding back on anything. 
Um, yeah, De- I can't. I can't tell who got fucked up more, Deku or fucking Bakugo. Deku's back was fucked. Bakugo is out for a couple days. Yeah. She said. Oh damn. Damn damn. Mm-hmm. But um. Or not a couple days. Said she. He, she said that he won't wake wake up for a while. So he's like in, in like a mini coma or some shit. Kind of something like that. Well, it's also probably because of her healing. It. That is true. Rest, so. All right. Well. Yeah. Really good episode. Um, if you guys liked our reaction, definitely like, subscribe, comment down below. If you guys want to be notified when we release our latest videos, definitely go plus ultra on that notification bell. And with that being said, as always, I am Mumsy, and that is Schmitty, and we are out.